what's up guys it's your boy nick and i know it's been a while but we're back with another video so for today's video guys i got a message on ig the other day from one of my followers his name is keon cuts i'm gonna put his information down at the bottom so you guys go ahead and give him a check out but he asked me hey nick how did i build my clientele now this is one of the most frequently asked questions that i get from brand new barbers or barbers that are looking to open up their own suite but for today's video guys i'm going to be giving you the top three ways that i grew my clientele as a brand new barber now i know there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ways to build a clientele but i'm just going to be focusing on the main three things that i did starting out as a brand new barber to help me build my clientele to get me to the point to where i'm at now now mind you for you guys who don't know i am located in Houston but I am not from out here I could not depend on any high school friends I really couldn't depend on any family so I really had to get it from ground zero so if you guys are ready to get into the video let's get it so the first thing that I did and it's probably one of the most important things so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it as number one I put myself in an environment conducive for growth now I think this is one of the most overlooked things as brand new barbers you know we get in our first shop we start working and then we find out this shop wasn't a good fit for us so right after you get out of barber school guys Guys, you want to start to bet out these shops. You want to make sure the shop has good walk-in traffic, has a diverse clientele coming through the door, and then also you want to make sure that you're comfortable working in the shop and that clients are comfortable with coming into the shop. Now, my first barbershop that I worked in, it checked off, I think, I would say about one or two of these things. The walk-in clientele, it was okay. It was right next to a high school, but it was only one type of clientele that was coming through the door. So early on, I knew that this wasn't the shop for me because starting off I already knew that I wanted to be able to cut everyone's hair or at least I wanted to be familiar with cutting all different types of hair now there's nothing wrong with sticking to one type of hair or sticking to one type of clientele but me I knew hey the more haircuts that I cut that means the more opportunity for me to build my clientele as far as the work environment it was a pretty cool shop but some of the barbers they had some extra stuff going on in the shop and I just knew it wasn't gonna be a good place Place to build my clientele out of. So after I left that shop, I ended up moving to my second shop and that shop pretty much checked off all the things. It had good walk-in traffic. It was right across the street from a mall. It had a real diverse clientele, all types of people. And it was a real good work environment. It was actually a real cool shop. So that's when I started to see my clientele grow. Now, I'm also of the belief that there is no such thing as a slow shop, only a slow barber. But as a brand new barber, you wanna put all the odds in your favor and stack all the chips so you're able to build your clientele now the second thing that I did as a brand new barber to help build my clientele was I had some sort of social media presence that could be a Facebook that could be an Instagram that could be a TikTok, and I also had a booking site where people can go on check out my work and book an appointment with me now long gone are the days of when people just come into barber shops and just sit down and just go to any random barber a lot of people use these social media apps go on there type in hashtags Houston barber or wherever they're at and they look at barbers you want to have some sort of social media presence so when somebody clicks on that hashtag you pop up and they could potentially come sit in your chair now a little bit more does go into it than just having a social media presence how you present yourself on social media I don't know how many times I click on barbers pages trying to check out their work and their pages on private guys you do not want to have your page on private now I understand if you have some personal stuff on there like family stuff all that you want to put that on another page you want to have that page open and available so potential clients can come in look at your page check out your work and possibly come sit in your chair for a haircut and also you want to pay attention to the way that you post on social media now shout out to my boy Marcus Harvey he put me on to this you want to be unique in the way that you're posting your haircuts and also you want to post a little bit of your personality too as well people want to get a feel of the person that they're about to come get a haircut by so you kind of want to post a little bit of your personality instead of just random haircuts and all that there are hundreds of barbers out there that just post the same haircuts over and over and over again so you want to find a way to stand out from everybody else so for me personally with my social media I post haircuts but then also too, I post that I ride bicycles. I post that I'm into cars. I post that I'm into working out. So when somebody clicks on my page, they say, hey, there's just not a robot sitting behind the page. They actually get a feel for how I am and they get to see my personality, which in turn, all right, so I just had one of my clients walk in for their appointment. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him right real quick and then we'll get right back to those seven guys. So be right back. All 
All right guys, so I'm back. But like I was saying, you wanna post on your social media, you wanna find a way to stand out from the rest. And then also too, you wanna get you a booking site. I don't know how many times I've gotten clients just from recommendations off of the booking site. You wanna make sure you have every avenue open for anybody to find you. And also too, you can still go out there, hand out business cards and all that, but you definitely wanna put down a booking site and then you also wanna put down a social media link so they're able to come look at your work, check you out, and then give you the opportunity for you to let them cut your hair for to give them the op to give you the opportunity for you to cut their hair so you guys definitely want to make sure that you guys have some sort of social media presence so for the number three thing that I did as a brand new barber to help build my clientele was I practiced my customer service skills now meaning when a client comes in the door at a barber shop you want to make sure that you greet the client you want to make sure that you make the client feel like a person I don't know how many times I walked into barber shops and barbers have had on headphones a uh, person sits in their chair they just give them a hair cut get them in and out now I'm not saying that you have to sit there and talk to the client you know the whole time and everything like that but you want to make them feel like they're a person not just like another number that you're getting in and out of the chair one thing that I practiced early on was getting to know my clients names kind of remembering the last thing that we talked about so when they come in that next time and I, I would bring that up that would really make them feel like I cared when it comes to this haircutting thing the haircut is only half the battle people want to feel comfortable when they come and sit in your chair and also they want to know that you're a dependable person, someone that can rely on. Like I said earlier, you wanna have some sort of booking site. For me, I went by appointments. So when my client looks online, they know that they can book a time. And then when they show up, within that time, they're gonna get their hair cut. Not an hour later, two hours later, stuff like that. I don't think I've ever canceled on a client. And even if I messed up and double booked, I made sure to accommodate both of the clients so it works out in their favor. And in the long run, my clients know that I'm dependable. My clients know I really care about that time so in turn they respect me by coming back continue to get their hair cut by me I remember one thing that my barber instructor used to stress to us all the time in barber school he's like if a client goes to two barbers say the other barber he's a great he's great at haircutting and everything and but he doesn't talk to the client he just sits him in the chair get them in and out he acts like they're just another number opposed to a barber that you know he's still good at haircutting but he builds a rapport with the client he gets to know the client say that the barber that just gets a client in and out messes up on their haircut one time the client is more likely to come back to the other barber because they are comfortable with that barber and let them know hey Nick or hey whoever hey can you not take the fade as high or could you do this differently opposed to the other barber that they don't have any relationship with they're just more likely to go to another barber shop and get another barber that is one thing I definitely depended on in the beginning really getting to know my clients being a cool person getting them comfortable with me and this was way before I even knew how to cut hair and I felt this that has carried me on to this day now trust me some clients they just want a quick haircut getting in and out um, and you could kind of feel that when somebody sits in your chair and I'm not saying you got to have a long drawn-out conversation with everybody but even still with those clients you know you want to know them on a first name basis you want to you know still have some sort of rapport with them but get them in and out in a timely manner all right guys so those were the three things that I did as a brand new barber to grow my clientele but I'm gonna go ahead and throw one in at the end so I guess it's gonna be four things that I did as a brand new barber and this is something that a lot of people over look and this is something that you just have to do in the beginning as a brand new barber you have to be in the shop you know being a barber we're, our schedule is a little bit more flexible than most jobs so say that the shop isn't busy sometimes we want to go do other things like go get a lunch and take forever or just just go waste time in other places but as a brand new barber guys you want to stay in that shop I don't know how many times I went to go get lunch and then I would be gone for an hour and then and I would come back and the owner would tell me you missed two walk-ins that came in and that was potentially two clients that I could have had but I was out lollygagging taking my time and lunch and I remember at one point I told myself hey for this next year I'm just gonna sit in this shop I'm gonna take every cut that comes in I'm just gonna put my head down and work and see where I am in this next year and by the time I looked up I had a full schedule clients were calling me trying to get in and it really worked guys so that is definitely something you cannot avoid guys you have have to be in the shop 
just sit there guys i know it may get boring i know you may not be doing anything but that gives you time to work on your social media that gives you time to watch videos like mine to help you build your clientele so guys you just need to be in the shop as much as possible especially 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 in the beginning guys and just give it time it is gonna work out i think i've been a barber for the last five or six years and i think within the past two and a half three years that's when i started to see a real growth in my clientele so the first two maybe three years i was you know i was depending on those walk-ins i was doing everything that i said in this video i was working on my social media i was sitting in the shop and i was also you know building a relationship with these clients so they were more likely to come back to me so all right guys so we're going to run through the four things that i did as a brand new barber to build a clientele i found a shop that was conducive for growth i had a social media presence i worked on my customer service skills and then also i stayed in the shop guys now like i said there are hundreds and hundreds of different things that you can do to build your clientele but i think these were the four things that helped me get to the point to where i am now if you want me to make another video with more tips definitely let me know down in that comment section if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that like button also hit that subscribe button and until next time guys i'm gonna catch you guys later peace